Hey Rockstar, are you in the greatest band on earth but nobody is booking you? In cooperation with Aspire Consulting and Coaching Group, James A. Media will be hosting a workshop about electronic press kit and how these marketing tools can help take your band to the next level. Wednesday, December 4th, 2013 at 6.30 p.m. For more details, visit v103.net or jamesamedia.com. This is a mile till dawn. You're watching the Jam Cam. Thank you for watching the Jam Cam. I'm your host, James 7X, and today on the show we've got a mile till dawn. Thank you so much for joining us on the show. We really appreciate your time. I'm going to go ahead and pass the mic around so everybody can introduce themselves and what they do. Hi, I'm Gabe Chang, and I play the bass. I'm Colin Bowman, and I've been doing the rhythm guitar for more than five years. I'm Katie Robinette, and I am the new lead singer. I'm Sean Council, and I play the drums. I'm Darren Wheeler, and I play the lead guitar. Right on. So we're Quintet out of Sacramento. How do we get started? I understand we did the Rock Inc. with the original members. Can you talk to us a little bit about how that started out, how the formation was, and what Rock Inc. did for you with the, putting together the band? Uh, uh, well, I came into the band about maybe a couple weeks in after they got rid of their first drummer. It was just Colin that was an original member back then. But we went through Rock Inc. and we kind of picked up Darren and we picked up Gabe. and. I mean, Rock Inc. actually helped us a whole bunch. It kind of set up a foundation for us being a band, and it helped us kind of become the players we are today. So, What do you think uh, is one of the most important lessons you maybe have learned from Zach Diebels or um, Rock Inc. and the experience going in from there? Uh, yeah, go for it. <laughs> uh, uh, we started to kind of learn the uh, business side of things, and... Um, you know, it's, it was a lot more business than we had thought it would be. Uh, it's, you know, it's not just, not just singing and playing. It, there's a lot, a lot more to it than we thought. Yeah, a lot of stuff to do. So were, were you prepared to deal with uh, media coming in, speaking with you, and were you deal, prepared to deal with uh, the different business aspects of it? Well, you know, it's... With the media, it's just going to be a thing. If you want to be uh, necessarily, you know, if you want to do this a bit more professionally, you're going to have to learn to deal with that. So, you know, you don't really have much of a choice. But I'd like to think that I'm uh, fairly acquainted with the media. <laughs> a little bit of acquaintance uh, from the media. I mean, you've had it, you've had it in your life uh, for quite some time. Is that something maybe you want to want to talk about and share with, share with everybody? Eh, sure, I guess. I mean, uh, I. Um, Sound totally facetious saying this, but uh, my dad was Chi Chang of the Deftones, so I've uh, I've spent a lot of time around with like stuff like that. Like I've seen him touring, I've been to a lot of concerts, and um, recently after the accident, there was a, a lot of hubbub about like, oh, you're a son, this, that, whatever. You know, it's just i <laughs> they've been around. Do you feel that there's maybe an unnecessary shadow that the media is maybe casting on you to live up to a certain expectation? Definitely, because that's just the way that the media is. But I'm, I'm hoping that, you know, maybe one day I'll come out of the shadow and I'll be my own guy. Well, you're already defining yourself, you know, with uh, this rock band here, A Mile Till Dawn. Have any of you had any musical experience before A Mile Till Dawn? And if so, maybe you want to share that with us. Um, I am in a great music program in high school right now, uh, the Vista del Lago uh, contemporary music ensemble and master's guitar class. I've been playing a lot of guitar lately, doing a lot of singing at school. I was in a band called uh, 1137 before this, like a little pop punk band. And um, after that broke up, I was I was really looking for something else. And thank God I found these guys. <laughs> so how did that come about? How did we f how do we find you? Uh, this is actually shortly after we left the rocking band program. He. He had some falling out with his uh, location, and we had to go out and find our own place. But I think some of us were still taking private lessons with him, and you, that's how he, he pointed you in our direction, even though we kind of left him in that sense. He, uh, he, he, he made us meet up, and um, it all worked out really well. And we, we had the hardest time finding a great singer, and she's the best. What qualities about her 
were so superior to others that you wanted to pick her out of anybody else? <laughs> well, first off, she could sing. Uh, second off, she was super enthusiastic about the whole thing. She could totally write music. She has a well musical background, and she's just super awesome on stage and fun to be around. Most of the people that we had before her had horrible stage presence and were no fun to talk to. <laughs> Well, a lot, a lot of times, I mean, there's a lot of singers out there, and a lot of them aren't ready to, I mean, a lot of them want to sing, and they want to do covers of their favorite songs and their favorite artists, and they're not ready to write their own lyrics and play their own concert with their own band. It's, it's not something they really think about when they start singing, and, and it's something Kate definitely stepped up to. Yeah, you guys, the way you're talking about, the way you went about the search, you sound like you're a, a whole nother level above... Uh, what, you, what you would typically think high schoolers to be at. Um, I know not all of you are still in high school, um, but still the maturity level for a band uh, is so, so young. You guys have a lot of uh, potential ahead of you. That's really cool. Um, what do you think? It, do you think it helps that she cross trains in different types of music, playing the guitar um, as a singer? Do you think that helps the band out? And if so, how does it help the band out? Absolutely. I think it's a really important part of anyone to be like, you know, double dipping a bit in like singing or, you know, playing an instrument because it helps you with songwriting and uh, it can, you can sort of iron out the kinks and songs that you wouldn't have found otherwise, you know? So I understand we did some recording with Hazmat Recording Studio. Talk to us a little bit about how that experience was and how that varied from other recordings that you've done before. Um, well, recording with Hazmat is really cool because unlike... Well, I mean, Zach was also great too, but he was a lot more in the business for money. But he's still a great guy, you know. But um, Hazmat's a lot more casual. Um, he's got a really great way of making songs sound really heavy. Um, and, you know, he's in the band Fall Rise too, so he's got a lot of influence from that. Um, and he's a great guy too, a great guy to get along with. Um, pretty, pretty cool guy. So. Yeah, I, th I thought he was great to record with, um, and uh, he hooked me up with Lydia, and she was fantastic, and we had just a ball recording together. She was so much so much help and um, a really great person, and he really knows what he's doing, and we really like that, and he's helped shape some of our newer songs into, you know, some things that we wouldn't have thought of without him, so thank you, Hazmat. So where can we find this music and where we, where can we stalk you at? I mean, on Facebook, Twitters? Well, we definitely, we have, we have a Facebook page, of course. We, it's, it's, um, we're still below the thousands, but I don't expect that to be much longer. We've actually been getting like 20 likes a day, if not more. And um, you can download the music right from there, run Reverb Nation, which a lot of other bands know about, but not too many uh, normal fans. You can download the music anywhere. We sell, see, we have a demo for sale all over you know, our venues and stuff. A higher quality than the free downloads you get. And uh, we're starting to do merch now. And even that's starting to be online. We have t-shirts and bumper stickers and all that stuff. So we're connected. We're, we're working up there. Nice. Can we be expecting maybe like an electronic press kit or maybe kind of some videos or music videos or something anytime soon? We're working on a new music video with Hazmat right now. We're really, really excited about it. We've been working on this song with him for a little bit, and I think it's going to be really cool. Yeah. Very cool. Well, is there any final words that we want to say to our old fans, new fans, anybody watching the video that you guys would care to say individually? I, I got to say thank you to anyone that's actually willing to come out to these shows and stuff, because it doesn't matter how many likes we get on Facebook. If you don't show up to the show, then we don't get a concert. And we have certain fans that follow us around everywhere. But new ones, new ones are the important ones, and the old ones are the strongest. They're, they're more important to the band than the members. The, the people driving back and forth to actually go to these places and help us be popular in the area and stuff like that, it's, it's more important than the band itself. And um, not enough people realize that. I think that life is generally a, just a great swell of chaos. There's just so many things going on at once, and. It really, it's it's madness that we can interpret this madness into something beautiful, and I think that this is sort of like <laughs> it's it's all it's like music and madness, and the idea that I'm trying to get across, even though I'm bumbling around like a fool, is that it doesn't matter if you play the music or don't play the music, or if 
you are a fan or if you're not a fan, the fact, let alone, that you are willing to um, take the time to listen to this music and whether or not you appreciate it at least helps us out. So, you know, thanks a bunch to anyone who even bothers. Very cool. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we're the, this is the Jam Cam. And we are, uh, we are a mile till dawn.